News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Uh, kind of a quiet night here in the valley as you look live over Carlisle at this hour, but it is a muggy one indeed. Still 81 in Carlisle, mainly clear skies. There's mid and upper level clouds. Uh, 68 dew point though. Whenever that dew point's near 70, you know what I say. It's pretty sultry out there. And that's the case as we go through the overnight. Mainly clear. Look for temperatures probably bottoming out in the low to mid 70s. A muggy night. And then tomorrow, we'll start with a mix of sun and high clouds. Haziness out there, if you will. Warm, muggy morning. Quickly get up near 80 degrees. And then in the 80s to near 90 tomorrow. What may keep us from getting to 90 or going above a few more clouds and maybe a few more thunderstorms around. Not for everybody, but they'll be scattered about later tomorrow afternoon. All the numbers still near 80, 79 in Coatesville, 80 in Lancaster. One better than that in Carlisle, as we mentioned, but 77 in Sealands Grove. Have been a few thunder showers trying to sneak through parts of Mifflin and Juniata counties, but they've really died out now. Now the dew point temperatures, everybody's near 70. Yeah, so it's a sultry night. Here's that uh, radar. I was talking about those thunderstorms. They really died out. There are a few more out toward Altoona. Let's put it into motion. You can see the, the line of storms formed off the Great Lakes, but you see how they came. Those, those showers got through parts of Center County, Mifflin, and Juniata, but bah, just died out coming southbound. Now, so a couple of other features that we're watching. This area here in the Great Lakes, the second one back here in the Midwest. Very very evident spin in that. It's an area of low pressure out there. This is just a little weak disturbance, but this may be enough to kick off a few storms as we head on into tomorrow with all this humidity around. So time it out for you. Not much happening tonight. Again, just a muggy, murky kind of night. Tomorrow morning, we start with some haze and sunshine. Get up near 90. There goes those storms. And you notice this little almost bowing feature there. And as it's a little suspicious, we'll watch that. It could mean some gusty winds with some of these storms and certainly some heavier downpours. They'll die out tomorrow night. Then that next front starts coming in here on Saturday. That could spark a few showers, but it looks like they're going to be a little more sparse on Saturday. Uh, kind of isolated, but again, a few storms may be around. Tomorrow, though, again, the severe storm forecast center. That's the folks from the National Weather Service. The issue, the watches, they're watching our area. Slight risk. Again, they're mainly concerned about the possibility of some damaging winds and maybe a little bit of tiny hail with that. But it looks like after another oppressive day, humidity wise, we get a little slice off for Saturday and certainly you're going to notice it much better feeling as we lower the humidity for Sunday and Monday. So again, some scattered storms tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, a steam bath out there again. May not quite get to 90, but we're close. Close again on Saturday, but again, a little less humidity. And Sunday and Monday are looking nice. By the time we get to Tuesday and into Wednesday, it starts heating up once again. Best bet for storms down to shore looks to be again on Saturday. Tomorrow on the Chesapeake Bay, watch for those storms. But again, they'll be pretty hit and miss. Wave heights right around the foot. Those storms not enough to cool us off tomorrow. Huh? Uh, a little bit, but not a lot. No, not a I thought lot. you were going to say best bet to beat the heat was to go to the shore. <laughs> well, right. that's always the case. <laughs> Thank you, Joe.